I am Anil Kumar and here is an interesting question for my students. It's on domain and range of functions. Now the question is, write domain and range of function x equals to 2 to the power of y. It is important to note that the students who are doing functions at present, they haven't learned about logarithmic functions, right? They are aware about exponential function and they have also studied inverse of a function. So keeping that in mind, I like them to answer, what is domain range for x equals to 2 to the power of y? So you know the function y equals to 2 to the power of x. Now what we have here is not y equals 2 to the power of x, but we have x equals to 2 to the power of y. Well, this gives you some idea that these two are inverse functions, right? That should help you to find the answer. Now, if you swap x and y, you get x equals to 2 to the power of y. That means they are inverse functions, right? Now, we also know that in inverse function, domain and range also swap. So, you know the answer, right? So, before getting into the answer, let me sketch. And I'd like you to pause the video, sketch and write the answer. Now, let me first sketch the function y equals to 2 to the power of x, right? So, y equals to 2 to the power of x is an exponential function, which is approaching 0 when x is approaching infinity, minus, and it crosses y-axis at 1 and it approaches infinity as x approaches infinity. Now inverse of this you could always sketch with the help of this line, right? Reflecting it on y equals to x, right? So this, we're trying to solve this question without the knowledge of logarithmic functions and it should, should be done, right? That becomes your function which is x equals to 2 to the power of y. Do you see that? Now you can write domain and range, right? So you know for this function x is all values greater than 0 and y is all real numbers. Okay? So we get our answer which is that x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than 0. That is the domain Correct? And the range is that y belongs to real numbers and has no restriction. Do you see that? So that is the range. So we have range and domain of our function x equals to 2 to the power of y. Right? Well, from the knowledge of inverse function also, you could have found it. Right? How? y equals to 2 to the power of x, the original function has a domain which is all real numbers, right? So x belongs to real numbers. But the range of this function is y belongs to real numbers, but y is greater than 0, right? As x-x is a horizontal asymptote. Now, when you find inverse, the domain and range switches. And therefore, we have for the given function x equals to 2 to the power of y the domain and range should be switched right so the domain becomes that part so now the domain for the inverse function or the function in question is x belongs to real numbers so that x is greater than 0 and the range has no restriction it is y belongs to real numbers, correct? So both ways you can solve this question, right? And of course, those of you who understand logarithmic functions, they could do it using logarithmic functions. I hope that helps. This is an extended question for the grade 12 students doing advanced functions who haven't learned about logarithmic functions yet. Thank you and all the best.